What's up? Flashlight. I think I'll bounce it off a wall. Hold up. Hold up. I'll bounce it off a wall. Tie. Three different settings. So right now is the first setting. This is the regular setting. Check this out. If I double tap, I get the strobe. If I triple tap, I get the moonlight. And if I click it, it's gonna stay. It's gonna stay in moonlight. This is regular light now. All right, let's let's go. Had to take care of some morning stuff this morning. Had to do some fatherhood things. It's time to clean up. Oh. So we can get down. I do some arts and crafts today, actually. That's what we're gonna do. Alcohol spray. Forgot I gotta trim this down actually. Too big for the panel. Scissor. Gonna take like five eighths of an inch maybe. Not five eighths. Three eighths of an inch. I'd to say three eighths of an inch off of this right here. Sticky. A little bit straight. A little bit not. Let's see if I was accurate though. Almost. Almost. In between three eighths and a half. So I gotta practice a little bit more. It's been a long time. Supposed to be able to eyeball eighths. Now we just gotta commit. Let's get up in there. Just taking care of a lot of little things that I gotta clean up. Things that will help me keep organized while I start some new projects. Always starting new projects. Not always finishing projects. Projects will be finished though, but I'm always starting projects. Staying creative just means you gotta be creative. You gotta stay being creative. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. The show. Been doing some slide puzzle stuff with the studio. Got, got some visions of the future. A lot of this stuff will be changing in the next couple, couple weeks. Little by little. And some of the big pieces gotta happen all at once because can't really have the big pieces just lying around. That's what it is. Got the bookshelf. Gotta rearrange the bookshelf. Gotta go through all the books because inside some of the pages I got some graphic design things that I might talk about in the future. K Fox Control Room book. This is a. Uh, Secrets from the master. It's from a radio station, actually. You know, DJ's gotta get educated. So this one's got all about the um, great guitar players right up in here. But um, for real though, what's inside here though? OG 3D TV glass. TV used to actually try to do 3D stuff back in the day. Vintage Walgreens matchbooks right up in here. These are made in Canada. It's pretty sick. That's just graphic designer stuff. I also got this other book. It's called the, this is called the real book, sixth edition. It's a jazz book. You wanna study jazz. I want to study jazz standards. Music notation is its own written language. This is also graphic design stuff. What are these buttons for? You try to push it. Music class. We gotta do music class. Can you play the major scale? Major scale. <laughs> do the do re mi. Show. What's this guy name? That's Gene. What? His name is Gene. He's a cartoon character. <laughs> this I one. Do a bass. Well, you want to do a bass? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's find a bass. You want an electric bass? Electric bass. Short. Long. Sometimes the best basses sound like a butt butt though. You got the right idea. Perfect. Shake it up. Shake, shake, shake. We just did 
it a sand it down. Just take off the finish, tape it around the edge because I want a nice clean edge. We use a big sponge. We use a car washing sponge. Something that allow my baby child to just like pop out with the whole skateboard instead of using a little brush or multiple brush strokes. I think it came out pretty sick. Got like a pink stain to it. I like it when you can always see the wood grain through it. Super dry to the touch. Very light acrylic stroked all the way through. So it's pretty nice. We had to get the bubble milk, but we finna do some work tonight. Nighttime work. Night's being hella warm right now. I don't even know how many degrees it is. Yeah, some high degrees right now. Been a long time since I've done a um, pencil drawing on a skateboard. Gotta always put it into practice. That's just what it is. Start off with a preliminary sketch, trying to get my regions correct. Try to think of this as a rectangle, you know? Like, this is, a, this is a vertical rectangle. Could be horizontal too if you want me. Other boards are horizontal. I went I went vertical this time. Hit it with the cartoon style, trying to make it look really cute for my baby child. Started off with a dragon because that was the um, easiest for me to um, block out with the regions. Went on the computer actually, went over the computer, tried to get some geometry thinking, and then hopped onto the skateboard to work with the pencil and eraser, and that's what we popping out with. Like a baby dragon, because I try to make him plump. You know what I'm saying? Try to make him plump. Got the Homer Simpson hand right here. Call that the Homer Simpson hand. One of the most important parts of doing graphic illustration is developing a grid or some type of region system. You want line work to generate a nice silhouette at the same time as nice line work itself. This paint that we be using, um, it says neon on the packaging. I was, I was looking for neon, but in my head as a uh, design student, I was like, it's, it's not really neon. Neon is a gas. That's what it is, right? You learn that in science class. Color as a neon color, is, uh, um, I put it in the category of fluorescence. Let's just talk about fluorescent and non-fluorescent. So you got regular colors, non-fluorescent color. Regular color is going to be hit with the sunlight and all other types of light rays, visible and invisible light. You can reflect the regular color from the sunlight and all the visible and invisible light. Hit your eyeball, then you see whatever color it is. A fluorescent color, it bounces back more light. A fluorescent color will get hit with the sunlight, visible and invisible light, and it'll bounce back more color and more tone. That's how you get the color to bonk on fluorescent color. You notice this with colors that pop out um, under black light. When you got the ultra ultraviolet light, it's not a visible light, but when it hit the color, it's gonna take the non-visible light and it's gonna reflect back a visible light. And that's where you get the extra color. Whatever color science be making these colors, man, they, they are real scientists. I got a green laser. If you hit with a green laser, you got green, everything's turned green. But if you hit the fluorescent color though, you hit the fluorescent color, you don't turn green. You get these yellows and these oranges up in here. We're just doing some color science things. baby dragon going on we got the baby unicorn going on and we got the baby pony right here got the double hearts we got the one love and the extra love that's what i got here this is for my baby child this is just the first first line work then what we got to do next is um fill these in with the colors that we mix in and then hit it with the deco color black outline and then we go hit it with the um got some rusto right here we got gloss clear rusto right here probably one skateboard left in here. Pony and the uh, unicorn though, they ended up getting some donks. I was thinking more like stuffed animal style. I think it worked, I think it worked. I might be pretty proud of it actually. It's been a while since I've done some of this stuff though. I have to show y'all, I'm gonna see y'all next time.